Hi, this is Andy Doctor. Today, I am doing an experiment to determine how much electricity my furnace uses. Um, this is not really about saving energy, which is important. This is about determining how much it uses. So I need to know how big a power pack we need if you want to make a backup power. How big a reservoir you actually need. Uh, all you need is a power meter. Uh, I already talked about this power meter in a previous video, but if you want to buy one that is similar, there is a link in the description to Amazon that you can get actually the exact same one. It only costs less than $15. It's a lot cheaper than you think. Um, so it right now show the voltage and the frequency. 124.6 volts and 60 hertz. We're going to reset it. So just press reset. The purpose of pressing reset is want to make the kilowatt hour to zero. So it is 5.6 watts when the furnace is not running. And for kilowatt hours it is of course zero right now. Now one thing I will say though before we get the number is that if you really want to use your power pack as the uh, the backup power to run your furnace, you probably don't want to keep uh, your furnace plugging all the time. You probably have to do it manually when the temperature is too low, at least during the daytime hour. The reason for that though is in idle, even in idle, it uses 5.6 watts of electricity. So that will more or less like 0.15 kilowatt hour per day, which is not significant when you have public utility, but for power pack, that's actually quite significant. So anyway, we will see what will happen tomorrow. Now, today is rather warm in terms of winter temperature. The high is about 50 degrees Fahrenheit, the low is about 35. And we set our thermostat at 72 degrees Fahrenheit um, from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. So that will be a 13 hours range and then it will be 64 degrees at night. So a rather like you, I would think. Our house is rather typical. So we will see. I will check the number tomorrow and let you know. So now it's 24 hours later. In fact, it say one day and 16 minutes. So slightly more than 24 hours. My furnace used 6.051 kilowatt hour of electricity. In terms of public utility, and this is not much. It doesn't cost a whole lot of money either, less than one dollar at my location. However, it actually tell you if you want to use a lead acid battery pack for or use your car battery to run your furnace, it's probably not going to last for too long before it drop the voltage so much that it doesn't run anymore. A typical car Lead acid battery is something like maybe 70 to at most 100 m hour and 80 m hour is approximately 1 kilowatt hour. However, honestly, you really couldn't run it to zero, you usually run 50% of it. So a typical car battery will only give you half a kilowatt hours. Even my gigantic commercial truck battery I have, and I have two of them, at best will give me two kilowatt hour of electricity, which is only eight hours more or less for my usage. So what that tells me though is probably if I do have a snowstorm, I lose power, I should lower my thermostat to something like 60 degree Fahrenheit, or even 55 degrees if I want my battery pack to last long enough, like one day or two. It's not going to go too far, unfortunately, unless I do that. Now, we are in a rather cold area. I do know that. My furnace is definitely not small, but it's not gigantic either. So hopefully you keep that in mind. At best, your furnace use 50% less electricity than mine. I don't think it will go a lot lower than that. So 
for me though, I build the battery pack, the backup power mostly for my backup sun pump. It's not really trying to run my furnace. We did not lose power much in the last 12 years that we reside here. The longest time we lost power was only half an hour. So it's a backup or a backup. So I don't really care about that. But you really want to do it this way for your furnace, keep in mind, okay? Uh, Lead acid batteries probably not a super good choice. It will not run for too long. Uh, so anyway, I hope you learned something useful today. And if you do, I will pl ask you please like and subscribe to my video. Uh, your subscription is the biggest incentive for me to make more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.